hole to open. Huh? Ah, continue playing. Welcome to my island. Ah. No, I don't want that. This is my little pond with a bunch of um, fish that I collected on different islands. Um, yeah, you can like grab them, move them around, release them. And then this is my little penguin. His name is Billy. Hi! Hi! It's so cute! Oh my gosh! You can pet them. That coin means he's ready to lay eggs. And then, where did the cow go? This is my little cow. Or manatee cow. Hi! He's also ready to lay an egg. Yeah, so you just... It kind of reminds me of like Animal Crossing, but in VR. Um, except it's way more interactive and you have more like freedom with what to do. Oh, you have a feather. This is like my little inventory. This is like a little um, puzzle map that I collected on a different island. Um, it came with a new update. Apparently this is like the map of the bamboo island, which, uh, which can be found, uh, somewhere over there. Um, and this X, I need to get something, but I haven't done that yet. And this is my little flying ferret thingy. So cute! It just flo floats around. Oh my gosh. It just floats around and just follows me everywhere. And this is my boat. I can... I can drive the boat to different islands. There's like that um, mini island. And that's the island. The crystal island, I think. And then that is... I call that like the night island because once you approach the island, it uh, it just automatically becomes nighttime. Um, and then that one is like another part of my island that's connected by a bridge. Um, and that little uh, boat over there is a merchant's boat um, where I can trade my coins. This is like my coin bag. Um, for uh, items and that's the bamboo island over there and then that is the new island that came with a new update um, so I'll have to uh, do that quest later on ah this is a blue penguin hi okay so let's go to my this is like my little farming area. I've planted some, um, this is how you uh, remove like a plant. You can sell them or just like throw them in the water, <laughs> which is what I do if I'm lazy. Um, and then those little ripples on the water mean uh, you can go fishing. Um, yeah, and then I collected some of these furniture items like the chair. And cushion, the birdhouse, the pumpkin scarecrow. Yeah, and then aside from that, I have this little like rack with seeds and empty seed bags. And this is the fertilizer bin where if you put, uh, I think it's like 10 items. Um, it can be like any garden item, like, it can be like a flower or like, um, 
this root that I have and the gauge will go up and then if you press the what is this called the notch um, it will uh, make fertilizer pods and then I've unlocked the full house which is like I think it's like four or five level mansion okay maybe it's like four and then yeah so we, if you step into my uh, home this is the first level and I have a little kitchen area with uh, water and an eyeball at the bottom of the sink um, and then I have a little cooking area and a bulletin board with like different recipes so I have um, what is this? Like sunflower crepe and or a taco and a kebab, pie, berry pie, uh, seaweed and weed salad and vegetable skewer, a smoothie and I have no idea what that is but it's made out of a mushroom and beans. So yeah, I've been going around to different islands and collecting these like plants. Um, uh, I've bought these curtains from the merchant boat over there. And over here is where I craft uh, most of my materials. And these are the fertilizer bags that that machine will create. Um, and then once you put, you can put like different Oh, not this one. Our materials. And then you can... Right now it's not working because this item doesn't make anything. But... Uh, oh, it just suddenly got dark. Interesting. Um, and then if you press on the button, it will uh, create the item, uh, what you're trying to make. And then this is like my little treasure chest with a bunch of different items. I have like different feathers and we'll organize them automatically for you. I have a lot of these uh, wall cabinets because I have a lot of items and it's really hard to organize them if they're just like lying on the floor. So, And this is like my little bulletin board of recipes that I collected. Um, yeah, and basically to make this wall shelf you would need one wood, two beans, and one uh, bluebell flower. And then uh, you can press the lever over there and we'll make that item for you. And yeah, same here. I made a, like a ledge. I collected a radio and some books. And it's kind of funny because to get to the second floor, there's no stairs, but this um, rope thing but except if you were a real person this rope is not even long enough so I have no idea how you would get up there unless you have like a ladder or something but uh, thankfully we have like the teleport um, control so we can hop up here and basically that was where we were at the first floor and then I have more curtains because this special patio didn't have any doors so it just felt like to open and then I have this little garden gnome and some planter beds and then if we come back inside I have more plants oh oops let's back up a bit I have more curtains books and we have a lovely view of the sub island over there and then kind of it's kind of empty right now because I haven't um, collected a lot of the items um, so because this in this game each merchant boat will uh, update after I think like two um, game days um, and I'll show you what what that means in a bit um, so it's you have to wait a bit to get to the next uh, updated batch of items so it kind of like takes a while so and it costs coins so it's been taking a while so yeah that's my bed and then to get to the next level same thing this rope that hangs here 
Um, wow, you must have a lot of body strength to pull yourself up in this game. Uh, there we go. And this is like my um, another planter bed area with a nice view of my island. And this is my, I call it my main bedroom. Oh my gosh, that thing just like started floating out of the walls. <laughs> it kind of freaks me out sometimes. So yeah, I have a little mini balcony with a great view. And I have a dining room or a dining area and more plants and patio. And over here I have a really big window and the main bed. Uh, which I can just hop on and I'm not sure what this thing does it's like a giant um, tank or something and then over here is a door to the bathroom which you can open and it just literally has a single toilet without any sink or uh, shower area and it's really creepy that you know you see the toilet and then you see this eyeball looking at you and yeah it, you can't really yeah so you have a toilet with a nice view um, and then yeah that's that's my home and then let's go back here outside and then uh, these things over here I've created and placed them here um, so basically if you press the trigger oh not this one oh, that was... so when it lights up it means you can teleport to that part and it makes my life so much easier because I don't need to like go around all those cliffs and then come back down here which is kind of annoying um, so that's what I've been doing and you can pull more roots and you can sell these at the merchant boat for money so which is what I'll do and this is like my little helper tree Groot so cute <laughs> Can pull them out and yeah just and these things um, they will grow back so even if I pull out the roots and get all the plants um, it will regrow back very slowly in a few days oh the Sun came up <laughs> Okay, now we have some items to sell. Let's go back to the island. And then... It's kind of unfortunate because in this game you can't... So you basically, when you want to do farming, you plow the land, you plant the seeds, and then you water. But then you can't undo the plowing um, step. So I plowed this area by accident, uh, and now I can't undo it. So it kind of... Kind of looks ugly, just too bad, but oh well. So we head on to our sub island, and then we get the merchant boat area. Oh, I forgot to mention that middle um, area where you see all those like different colored flames. Um, that um, basically it's kind of like in the middle of all these uh, different islands and I have basically already completed the game uh, a few weeks ago so um, what you're trying to do is you get a special you complete like all the tasks from each island and it will like light up the flame um, and then yeah I won't spoil it but yes um, yeah, so we have a little uh, dock area and the crow just flew away and then that is the merchant boat right there. He is like this alien grandpa which who he does fall asleep at nighttime. Oh, hi. Hi. 
Hi. And then that little basket is where you sell um, items, like you can sell berries, objects, feathers, and plants for those shells. Shells is basically like money. So, so that one uh, root plant is worth five shells. Um, and you can keep throwing to get some coins. And then once we want that exchanged for coins, so basically um, if you want to take back an item from the basket you still can, um, like I did right now, Or um, and then if you want to sell it there will be this um, uh, this little like bag and then you can just take it and then it will prompt you to feed this little money bag thingy and you just pour it in here oh sorry or you can just merge it like that um, so yeah so today oh so that calendar over there will show you when the item uh, will refresh and be restocked so if you see the circle the X is the date that's passed and the circle is, um, it's today. So we're lucky because we can get some cool items. Ah. So we can get a cushion for 250. Um, ah. I want this book because that's pretty cool. And then you can get pay money. And then, yeah, once that number turns green, that means I have paid enough so I can take it. Ah. And I have just bought this book, book set. Um, so I can take back. Oh, I forgot to sell. I forgot to sell some stuff. So I kind of want. Oh, oh! I thought those are the same curtains, but I guess they're not. Um, should I get this one or that one? I'll get this curtain, curtain fabric and then I don't know what that is. Is that like a planter? Eh, I don't, I don't think I need it just yet. Um, so yeah, now that we have our items, we can go back to our island. And then start decorating. So I have the curtain, which I'll create in a moment. Uh, but for now, I will put some books. I'm trying to. Oops. Let's make this lower. Ah, it's really hard to place these items. There we go. First item is done second item is done now we have a bookshelf this can be like a cute uh reading nook um and then oh yeah the curtain so i go over to my recipe bulletin board to make a curtain uh where is it oh there it is i need two bamboo pieces one um pink flower and one red flower and let's see I have the bamboo piece oh no two bamboo pieces uh one pink flower and Where's the red flower? Hmm. 
guess we're gonna go off to hunt down for some red flowers. Is that the one over there? I don't think this is the one. Huh. Oh. Did I run out of the red flower? Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Silly cow. He's sleeping. I can hear him snoring. So, we have... Go to our little crafting area. We have the two flowers. And we put bamboo. And now we have a curtain. Um, and then we have the little... Oh, not the sunflower. Now we have the fabric, we just pop it in there, and it created a curtain. Um, yeah, it took a long time to find like two curtain pieces that match because obviously I have to wait until the merchant shop uh, restocks that same curtain fabric. So, you know, I have like non-matching curtains, but it's okay. So I have, oh, I needed the other item so I can make a little area like this and now I have two uneven curtains, that is okay. And then, yeah, so we have, we're starting to get A little bit more items. Uh, I'm just gonna move this over here because I think I yeah there it is. Okay, so oh, uh, let's you know tour around different islands. So we hop onto our boat, and uh, it's really cool because you always have these items with you. You have the plow axe fishing rod, watering can, and a camera in case you want to take a picture. And you also have another mini crafting area while you're exploring. And you also have a little storage area. This is all already included in the boat. Uh, I It was never enough for me so I always, uh, I just created another uh, chest. So I don't run out of space and then it's really cool because you can actually drive the boat around so, oh. where did I get this fish okay well I guess we will put this fish in the pond for now um, So this, you actually can drive the boat, um, inspirational music plays. <laughs> so uh, it's been so long so I forgot which island has which merchant. I think they all have their own uh, different ones. I believe that island over there has the plant merchants where she sells like gardening tools and plants and I think that one over there the night island has the furniture merchant and uh, the bamboo island one it's not a merchant but he will uh, for a uh, fee of course he will like take your tools and then enhance them for a really expensive price um but so far i you know these tools don't break so i haven't really found a need to enhance them but maybe in the future we'll do that so yeah let's go over to the furniture island oh i'm mean, sorry the night island where we can get furniture
I think in the beginning of the game, I was really nervous that the the boat will like crash into the dock if I don't stop in time. But I realized that it will like it, it auto docks for you, so and it won't destroy the boat. So. So we were- oh! So this little ferret floating- I should really name him. We'll call him- um, can't really think of a name. We'll call him Indigo. Uh, Indigo will follow us uh, on our adventures while we explore. It's a really cool experience because there's so much to explore and you know once you oh I heard some whales so yeah since this is a night island it will turn to nighttime very soon So I realize you can't go all the way up there, um, unless if I'm mistaken, uh, please let me know. I'm dying to know how to get up there, um, but you can go all the way up until that little ledge on the side, um, and those like medium-sized pedals you can also go. Oops! And we went to the wrong side, my bad. Let's back up a bit and go to this side. So we've kind of docked, um, so you can hop onto the dock, and this is like another island. Um, it has its own unique fish, uh, birds, and yeah. And that is another merchant that sells- hello! Uh, he sells like furniture items, so we have- um, this little dining set for 75 um, but I bought the other dining set so I don't think I need that one um, we can also look at the items here so there's like uh, this little shelf for 350 um, I don't think I need it maybe this one it'd be great if I could get a desk Maybe we'll buy this one. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Take the item. I just purchased this. I thought it was a filing cabinet, but it's a lot bigger than I thought. Um. So yeah. So today was the reset day, and I've already purchased it. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Um. So this calendar will only uh, progress to the next day um, if you stay on the island. If you leave the island or go back to your home island, uh, it will just stay on the same day. So, so while this resets, I guess we can just explore this island and just chill.
It's, this game is like super relaxing and it's like... It's so peaceful. And... I don't know, like the soundtrack is really good too. So I think it's a really good game. And I think the uh, developer like constantly updates um, and add, like adds new features. Which is, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, so basically... Okay, I'll spoil it. So each of these islands has like its own designated goddess. Um, and you can hop onto the ledge. So I've already... Oh, I hear whispers. It's kind of freaky. Um, so... I've already completed the quest of this island, but what I had to do was collect these. Oh, I can't grab it yet. So I had to grab these uh, gems, and then it activated this little uh, platform over here. And basically, the goddess just like showed up from the sea. Or oh, oh no, never mind. There was a stone. Um, sculpture of the goddess over here but then so once the platform was activated she um, became a real person and then she she saw me she was surprised and then she uh, I was able to grab this little totem pole thingy um, which you do need to progress in the game and to build certain structures um, this uh, this item like always like respawns and I don't need another one so I'll just like yeah that's how I lazily discard of items I don't need um, yeah we can go here There is the right path to uh, go to certain places. I'm not sure if this is the right path. Um, no, I'm not. And Oh, and uh, I'll just show you, you can also like hop onto these like, I don't know what are they called, like mushroom petals. You can hop onto the ledge and you have a really good view of this whole island. Um, maybe a little bit better if you go to the top. So there's obviously nothing on this one. It's kind of like a little ledge to help you get up to this one over here. Oh dear. And then you can hop into this little stem area. It's kind of freaky if you look from the top. Because um, I have a fear of heights. And then if you I think so you go back outside and this was the first quest area where I had to grow this little um, bell thingies um, now I might as well pull it up because we don't need it anymore um, so yeah that is what you needed to do to get the first gem and then you can continue upwards Where is upwards? There it is.
I've never heard. Okay, so when I'm playing this uh, without like a headphone and um, when I just have the audio like blasting, um, I don't hear the wind and all like the immersive sound and music. So I'm hearing like all these like cool sound effects for the first time, which I think is amazing. Um, so, anyways, going more up. Oh, and this is the second uh, stage to get the next gem, uh, which is to collect these. I don't know, they kind of look like blueberries to me, so I just call them blueberry plants. Um, yeah, so you can collect them to sell them. Yeah, you can keep going up. There's one more step. I think it's over there. Uh, but it's pretty much the same, so I will just... Oh, I guess it's too far down to just hop down there, so... Where can we go? Gosh, how they go back? Oh, there it is. Ah, okay, so we're back. Um, when is this? Okay, so yeah, so if you look on the calendar, you can see that it reset, and now it's like the next day. Um, so it's this day right here, and since this is like a night island, you don't know when a full day has gone by, so you just gotta like come back and check. Um, so there will be an X uh, by the end of this day, and I just need to stay here for like two game days until I can see the next batch of items. Um, while I'm here, might as well- oh, forgot to sell some stuff. Um, so yeah, I can keep selling. The items here. It's worth slightly more than the items back at Home Island. It's kind of like a mini workout to like, you know, move these items like back and forth. <laughs> oh, I do not want to sell that. Okay, so now that I want to sell all those items, I can get 555 coins. Cool. And you can also sell fish. Um, let's go fishing. Ah. Let's grab my tool, my fishing rod. This is like a fishing area. And it's ah bite it. Ah, it bit it. So if it's red, you don't want to pull too hard because you'll let the fish go away. Um But if it's a blue and it just flew right through Oh it like flew right through that little uh stepping stone. It's kinda funny. Um so you can pull it, um, you can grab the fish, and then let's say I want to sell it and go back to this place and sell it for 30 It's a cheap price. You can see why it's hard to get uh, coins from this game. 
Oh, that was too far. fish with one hand and just use a trigger to go fishing which is what I like to do when I'm when I'm lazy <laughs> I got a fish all right so Ooh. okay this one's worth 40 a bit better I think in the past I was trying- I caught a fish and then I was trying to sell it and I put it into that little like basket over there but then I think it's like the angle which I threw it in it like bounced back and it rolled down like across the boat and it went in the water so like the fish swam away which is kind of sad so yeah that does happen so you want to be careful um, how you put items into that basket I was hoping to catch like a glowing fish. I think I, I'm not sure if it was here or in the cave uh, at my island. Um, there was like a glowing fish that looked really cool, and so far I only caught one. So, okay, this one's worth it. I don't know how long we'll have to stay here. Um, yeah, you know what, uh, I'll just come back on a different date and, uh, oh yeah, so this, with the new update, I need to go to, where is it, it's really hard to see because it's like nighttime. I think it's that one over there. my little map with me to know where I'm going in the maze. Oh, and now it's magically daytime. <laughs> So that's the bamboo island. Sometimes I wish the boat could go a little bit faster because it does take quite a bit of time to get from like the other end to this end of the, uh, the ocean. But not too bad. So this island uh, I think I briefly mentioned before, uh, it has a merchant that enhances items instel instead of um, selling items. So, we've docked. This is that bamboo island. And this is the other alien uh, person that enhances a watering can and a fishing rod. Um, but for now, I will need a plow. So let's head on over to... So this is the entrance of the bamboo island you have two um, t 
two entrances. I think I've I've already been to that side. Um, but there are some like little treasure boxes and things you can collect on the way. Um, but yeah, I have a little map with me. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. Um, I want to get to where the X is, so we took. Um, go take the right, and then. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is what I needed. Uh, but obviously, like, they don't give you hints on, like, what to do when you get to the X. So I had to watch, like, other uh, YouTube videos. Just kind of, like, cheating. Um, so I found out you had to, like, plow this to get this item, uh, which you need to place in the new island over there. Um, oh man, I, I was going to collect some bamboo but then I forgot to bring the axe. Um, I wish I could like control all like the tools in my little like bag thing, which is a shame because I always have to go like back and forth to find it. Uh, but anyways, we'll go back to our boat. What? <laughs> the bamboo's flying everywhere. Oh, okay, so it looks like we already have some bamboo um, in our little boat storage. So, and a cool thing is, you know, if you're too lazy to, uh, that's our island over there. If you're too lazy to uh, drive the boat all the way there, there's like a setting where you can return home uh, without um, without boating. And so we are back in our house. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so every time I use that function, like sometimes it messes up when it's like reloading all the different assets. And then I would find like my radio be like floating midair, like flipped upside down and it's kind of annoying, but I guess they fixed that um, bug somehow. Um, yeah, so that's nice. So that was my little island tour for today. Um, we will explore and do the other quests on another time. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and let me know what other games I should try next. And I'll see you soon.